SV Boney UV IR Cut 2 inch, SV Boney UV IR Cut 1.25, SV Boney CLS EOS C, SV Boney CLS 1.25, SV Boney Guide Scope and SV Boney Mount, SV Boney Mount, SV Boney Dovetail. SV Boney provide really useful solutions to different problems in an affordable way. And that's really useful in astrophotography because it's such a ridiculously expensive hobby to pursue. When SV Boney, about a year ago, this is back in 2021, they put this on their website saying they were going to release a cooled camera. I was really excited by this because they do produce some good quality stuff at a reasonable price. So this a cooled camera at a reasonable price, potentially. Now this was back in 2021. And it says here that the sensor is the Sony IMX533. Now, this was over a year ago. And then about two months ago, SV Boney asked for people to review and test their new camera. And they would give a $200 discount code to buy the camera. So what you had to do was fill in an online form which showed things like um, the photos you'd taken, any YouTube links, all of that kind of thing. And if they chose you, you'd get a $200 code. And I was lucky enough to get one of those codes. So SV Boney, thank you. Thank you so much. That's really great. It does, however, still mean you've got to buy the camera. So it's now for sale and it is $799. So with the $200 code, it actually includes postage as well. So it's $240. So that would take it down to kind of $599-ish, give or take the $40 as well. But that's still a lot of money to pay. That's still quite a lot of money going out. So... I took the decision to sell one of my cameras and I took the decision to sell my 294C, my Altair 294C fan-cooled camera. Now, the reason I decided to sell that is because if you look at the specifications on this particular camera, if we go down to specifications, the sensor has changed. It is now a Sony IMX294 CMOS sensor. So the original advert was for a 533 sensor which is there and this one is a 294C so it's the same model camera as my Altair or the same model sensor as my Altair one and I always wished with my Altair one that I bought the cooled version as opposed to the fan cooled version but that was because I buy everything reduced if I can or when it's on offer or X demo because it's the only way to make this hobby affordable it really is my camera was an X demo it was immaculate it was perfect it was reduced so I sold that and I sold it for 300 pounds which is really good I managed to get the 200 dollars off plus the £300 off. So the end price, give or take with the postage and everything else, was about £180 to me. So I thought that as an upgrade of £180 was quite reasonable for a cooled camera. And I really like the SV Bernie stuff. I'm not just saying that, I use it. It's good, it's good stuff, it's fine. And I'm really excited by this. So I've ordered the camera, I've sold my other camera, and now I just have to wait until it arrives. So this is really exciting and it's going to be a new sort of journey. I like the pixel size. It's a big pixel camera. The pixel size is actually quite big and that means it's good for longer focal length scopes. Although in fairness, I've used this on a 680 millimeter 130 PDS for my Altair version of this with this sensor and the pictures are great. So I'm really happy. Um, the great benefit of a cooled camera is the fact that you can take your darks during the day. So the dark library that you can build every few months can be done during the day. It doesn't have to be done with your within your imaging session. So this is exciting and I'm really looking forward to testing this new camera when it arrives.